Leopard Guard, what is your true objective? I seek only to fulfill the needs of my leader. Whatever needs to be done is what I will do. You were right as always, Master. The program was successful. She is now ready to do whatever is needed. I know. If there ever was any doubt, there is none now. Who else do you believe would make an adequate applicant for the program? We do not want to arouse suspicion amongst the guards. Take your cats from the outskirts cities and process them. They will join the program. Of course, Master. Come with me, Leopard Guard. We have business to follow through with. I seek only to serve. Darn the elements! Why did it have to snow? I'm cold. Stop complaining. If you're going to be on the run away from the government, you need to face the elements at one point in time. Come on, we're too far from the prison facility to get the information and get back to Antony's in time without contracting hypothermia. But I know a place. Hypothermia? Aluria! I haven't seen you around in ages, darling. How are you? I'm fine. It's a bit too cold to be outside right now. I was wondering if I could shelter in one of your rooms. Of course, sweetheart. The weather has not attracted many customers, so I have plenty of space for you. And who's your friend? Hello. I'm Tiger Guard number four. A blasted Tiger Guard? Easy, Katniss. He's with me. He was fired from his job and sentenced to execution for discovering something about his precious government. Which is one of the reasons why I was locked up. However, I've escaped once more. That doesn't bother you, does it? Of Course not, sweetheart. The outskirts cities doesn't care. Step inside before you catch your death of cold. But I'll be watching you, Tiger Guard. Are you sure this is a good idea? It's not my fault that you used to work for the government. Here's a standard room. Let me know what you think. It will do just fine. Thank you, Katniss. Of course, love. Let me know if you need anything else. Actually, I was wondering if you could direct me to the bathroom. I need to freshen up. Come with me, I'll show you where it is. When do you want to head out to the prison? I can't talk about this right now. I'm exhausted and hungry. Save it for later. Well, alright then. Aluria, love, I need you to be honest with me. What do you need to know, Katniss? First of all, why are you hanging around with a tiger guard? They're dangerous. That's a long story. To be short, I was captured and taken to prison. He was sent to be my guard. When I escaped, he naturally chased after me. When he caught up to me, he learned something about his governmental leaders. Something that would get him executed if he ever spoke the truth aloud. I told him he had to run if he wanted to survive. Naturally, he followed me because he had no idea what to do. I haven't been able to shake him off since. I'm planning on getting him supplied and sending him on his way, but we've had a couple of drawbacks due to the snow, so we're staying here for a while. He can't go around introducing himself as a Tiger Guard. He won't make many friends. He needs a fake identity. I know Tiger Guards don't remember their names, so he better come up with one and fast. That's the thing, Katniss. He does remember his name. I think something went wrong. So, he is an anomaly. This is fascinating. If the government ever found this out anyway, he would have been executed on the spot. Never mind the fact that he learned the truth. What truth do you refer to anyway? 
I shouldn't tell you. I'd put you in harm's way. We can discuss that later. As for now, what is his name? I've always been curious. What kind of names do Tiger Guards have? That's another thing. He won't tell me. He's been keeping it a secret all this time. He says that he's not going to reveal his name to me because he doesn't just tell his name to everyone. I find this ridiculous. He knows mine, after all, but he guards it like a well-kept secret. Intriguing. Perhaps it reminds him of his old life before he was sent away to work as a tiger guard. Did he volunteer for it? I... I don't know. You don't know anything about his past, and yet you're still allowing him to travel with you? This is dangerous, Illyria. He doesn't know anything about my past, either. I call it even. Besides, that's not very important. What's important is getting rid of his pelt. I don't want him to follow me anymore. I'll tell him to come up with a fake name. You'd better. The bathroom's up here. Nice hallway pattern, by the way. Really? I thought you would despise it. It reminds me of Rose, before she died. I suppose it's the one thing in the outskirts cities that I don't look at with disgust. Ah, uh, I remember Rose. I raised her like my own. She turned out more like me than you ever did. That's not a bad thing, however. I enjoy your spirit. Come on. Thank you so much, Katniss. Not at all, love. I'll have some food sent up to your room. Keep a close eye on your companion. I don't trust tiger guards, and I never will. Any guard, for that matter. <laughs> Katniss, you know me far too well. You're back! Your friend sent some dinner up for you. How nice of you to leave it there for me. You're usually used to having your belly so full you can't move, I bet. That's not true. Whenever I was paid, I gave the money to my family. They had bought food. And if they were satisfied with how much I'd made, they'd let me have some of it. It must suck to be you. I really can't complain. At least I wasn't one of their wanted. You have some soap behind your ear. I knew that, you clot pole. Here. I can't reach. Do you mind being less stupid than usual and helping? Well, since you put it so nicely. Now that the soap is gone, I can listen to your ridiculous complaining better. You're welcome. Tiger Guard, I believe that we should stay here for another day to wait until the temperature rises, and then we can head to your prison. Tiger Guard? Tiger Guard! <sighs> oh, what? We're staying here for another day to wait for the temperature to rise, then we'll be on our way. Mm. Lazy fool.